Hi, welcome to Electro Techniques 143. Today we are going to look at how to use a connector board or breadboard as it is more commonly referred to. This is an example of the breadboard that you will be using in the practicals this semester. You can see that it consists of three sections, two outside sections or rails and the center section that is further divided up into two parts. In the center part, each row of five holes are electrically connected. That means that all the conductors that we stick into these holes will be connected. You can also think of these rows as a node where two or more circuit elements meet. In each outside section, we have another two rows each. However, even though these are also spaced in groups of five, each row is one long connection from here right until here. That means that everything in this row is connected, everything in that row is connected, and so on. In order to demonstrate how the breadboard works, I'm going to build a small LED circuit consisting of a resistor, an LED, and a lab DC power supply. Since the lab power supply is a topic of another video, I'm not going to go into detail about it here. Here is the circuit I'm going to build. I will show you a number of ways you can build the same circuit on the breadboard. For the first method, I'm going to make use of the power rails. I'm going to start off with the resistor. You can just plug it into the hole like that. Just press down until you feel it go in, and then connect the other end to any one of these rows. Next up, I'm going to take the LED. The long leg is the, is the positive side, and that I'm going to stick into one of the holes in the same row as the resistor, and then the other power rail. Please do make sure that these are not in the same row. Then, connecting the power, remember red is positive and black is negative. If we connect the power up, the LED goes on. We can see that we connected it correctly. Since we are building such a small circuit, we don't have to use the power rails. So next up, I'm just going to use this section. So, I'm plugging it into a hole again, another one on that side, and now our LED. Again, make sure that the long leg is a positive side. Plug it into the same row. You can see I'm putting, putting it right up to the end there. And another row at the other end. And now we can connect our power. And we can see the LED goes on, which says that we built it correctly. Lastly, I'm going to build it across two of these sections. Again, starting with the resistor. So we plug it into a hole over there, and then another one across our divide over there, and the LED. Same story, making sure that it's in the same row and that we are connecting our long leg to the resistor, and then connecting power again, and there our LED goes on. This then concludes our video on how to use breadboard. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to ask Demi or one of the lecturers. Thank you.